do that. So now if we go to command prompt, we go uh, IP config. Go uh, display DNS. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, well, it's not working right now. Let's see if this works. Oh, here we go. See, pingkibbles.org, and it comes back, and it's pinging um, the IP address that I specified. See, right um, there. See. Now, if I go back and display DNS, oh no, it hasn't updated yet, but that's not. Very important. Important thing is if if it works, I'm gonna go ahead and ping mini dot kills dot org and this computer's responding. Finally ping bits dot kills dot org. There we go. And that's it. Um, for setting up the DNS server, now to set up a Windows client to point to this server, we're going to need to go to Control Panel, Network Connections, Local Area Connection 2, click Properties, um, um, Internet Protocol, Properties, um, and then use the following DNS server address. And this is where you're going to type in your um, DNS server address. You have to type in the IP address manually because that's what a DNS server is for. And that would be just be a cache 22 right there. And just click OK. Close. If it wants to close. And close again. Exit out of this, exit out of this, and we'll go back in here. Up oh, here we go. Look at that. It has it in its books. We'll exit out of that. Now, if I start up Firefox here, I believe the web server on my OS 10 server is working. Here we are. Oh, I gotta turn off the proxy server. I usually do have a proxy server running. Kibbles.org. Okay, well, I don't think the web server is up. So that's basically how to do it. Let me log off. Log off. And now I'm going to show you how to set up a Mac client to use the new DNS server. Go in the network. Okay, and I have this configured manually. Specify a IP address, an IP uh, subnet mask, the router, and finally the DNS. 192.168.1.226. Apply it, and we'll test it out. And as we can see, it works. Because if it didn't, then we would get error message. For example, if I change this to 
127.0.0.1, click apply. It most likely doesn't work because this computer does not run. Uh, we'll take Mac OS 10 hints. As we can see, the um, internet stopped working, and eventually it's going to come up and say, you're not connected to the internet, even though I am. It just cannot find a DNS server. And that's about it. Oh, uh, shout out. New 15-inch MacBook Pros. These things are nice looking, but Apple really needs to bring it down in price. Um, $800 would be the sweetest price point ever. Am I ever going to get that wish? No. Whatever. This is setting up DNS server for Windows. And next video, I'll show you how to um, set up a Mac for a DNS server. Thanks for watching, and I'm coming back to YouTube.